nenda kupeleka mtoto anyonye matiti ya mama yake mwenye amekufa i just knew she is there Hi guys, I'm Cecilia and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Single Parents Talk Show. And guys, we are heading 10k subscribers. So kindly subscribe, like the video, share the video, and don't forget to leave a comment down there. And today guys, I'm here with a single mom. She has a story. Akona story amepitia mambo mingi. but let's hear from her. Sasa. Poa sana. Unaweza introduce? Yeah, my name is Rose from Bungoma. I'm a mother of one girl. Okay. So tunataka tuingie kwa history venye <coughs> ulijipata umeenda Saudi na nini ilifanya kwanza ukafikiri unaweza enda Saudi? Uh, ndo niende Saudi. You know life just uh, was not just going on well. Kulikuwa na story mingi. My mom was sick and who's who she's not so good financially. Ako tu. Okay. So hata kazi yake unajua na kanga tu kwa jua na uzanga tu vitu vitu tu hapo nje so kwa jua na hata place ya kuka hmm. so i decided like uh, even niende tu nimsaidie and so when i was thinking about that mamangu akakuja akapata pia shida macho hmm. she was almost going blind actually alikuwa anaenda blind completely juu macho ilikuwa inafungana uso ina, usa inakuja juu so being that daughter when my mother believed in me so much the fact that i had nothing hmm. but she really believed in me and i also saw the struggles and alikuwa anapitia ndo nisome which pia hiyo masomo ilikuwa nilikuwa na hard time sana shule because of uh, financial hivyo pesa ilikuwa shida so nikasema i have to do this for my mom because she's going blind and i'm here her daughter i could not see that i could not watch her go blind So nikasema I tried nikajaribu ku, kutafuta before I even traveled nikauza bajia nikawa nauza scrapes bungoma huko but now the money is not enough yeah kwa sababu unahitaji medication food exactly. to survive and yeah. then I had also a kid sister mwenye alikuwa alikuwa high school so nika opt ku, kusema wacha ni ni yeah, yeah. Ya, nianze kuuza hizo vitu oh. nika okay. nikauza nikauza but ah, So I decided to go at that time bado nilikuwa na baby daddy but you know wezi ekea mwanaume mm-hmm. ya yeah, responsibility okay. atio yeah. kwetu amelala njaa kwetu mm-hmm. mama unajua yeah. so I tried to reach out kwa my relatives but unajua mtu anakuambia right now so everybody literally kila mtu hakuna mwenye angepata 5000 and my mom is going blind because of just 5000 so niko na mimi naona ni kidogo mtu anaweza nipea but hiyo mtu hayuko mm-hmm. So nika opt kuanza kutafuta venye nitaenda venye nitaenda Saudi Arabia. So nikaambia my mom mimi sina choice. Mm. I don't have money. I don't have someone who can help me. But wacha tu ni sacrifice niende. The fact that sasa watu walikuwa wanakufa huko unajua unasikia story story mbaya nini? Hiyo sasa ni mwaka gani? Ilikuwa 2019 ndo nilianza ku plan nataka kuenda mm. 2019. Mm. But now sasa venye covid pia ilikuja ka najua karibu karibu maneno so i did not even go okay your time but my mama akaniambia tu uh, akukua na ile ati usiende ni kubaya sijui because she also understood like kuna shida kuna kitu mmekata hakuna food mm. she's sick mm. she's going blind mm. so nikasema ai Mother can you can just go and my dad was also there but mgonjwa mgonjwa hezi fanya job. So nikasema tu let me go and my mom just told me just trust in you. And to add on that rent iko because we live in a rental house for almost now 20 years or so. So tunaishi kwa rental house. Unaona mtu anakuja na uliza mother you just have msichana mkubwa hezi kutoa kwa land hezi kutibu. Mm. Unajua anamwambia vitu kama hizo. So I felt like kweli I'm failing my mom. Mm. So I decided to go to a friend huyo best yangu akaniambia tu uh, or can we go wende ufanye kazi kwa ba so na mimi nikakuwa na ile uoga unajua mm. okay ni kazi yes but sasa unajua kuna tu ile kazi unaona tu ai sasa nitaanza aje being that niko na mtoto wapi ya nikamwambia it's a good job lakini juu ya mtoto hii si kutaka story mob so nikamwambia tu juu ya mtoto hii sitaweza mm. so ndo nikaanza sasa hiyo process yako uta kwenda Saudi Arabia. So nika process vitu, nika process vitu na sasa wakati corona ilikuwa tu ime iko juu imehit kabisa hata wanataka kufunga ku travel. 
so after processing nikakuja Nairobi ni, kwa huyu sister yangu nikaenda training nikamaliza nikaenda medical jua that time nilikuwa na passport yenye ilikuwa imetolewa 2019 so nikafanywa process kila kitu nikatolewa visa waka book a ticket so i was now to travel so si kwenye unaenda kufanywa hiyo corona test eh? mm-hmm. nikapatikana okay. positive unajua mm-hmm. eh, na corona so i could not travel so ikabidi wa nikakuwa kwa medication na hizo concussion so ikabidi wa postponed so aka postponed but now hizo madawa zikansaidia just within a week kwenda kupimwa it may disappear it's not there so now i was good to go so nikaambia ma then kaambia kila mtu me i'm traveling i'm going but unajua sasa nikienda tu hata mtu mwenye ako tu kwa akili yangu mm. it's just my mom hiyo macho hiyo what do we do hiyo tu ndo nataka so it's just praying to god i was like i wish i get boss mwenye nitamwambia ninataka tu anilipe hiyo salary ya kwanza utume kenya nitume tu because that was the only thing that could give me peace mm to me Kenya because you can imagine kama mimi ni mgonjwa meaning nothing is going on hakuna kitu yoyote so nika nikaenda nika travel nikafika poa wakanitia boss unajua kisha fika unafika nga kwa office and then they call your boss to pick you up ama anatuma driver so he came he was a good man venye tu nilimwona venye alini receive tukaenda kanfanyia shopping manguo because mimi nilibeba tu handbag hiyo tu and then from there we proceeded tukaenda kwake So okay nikukata kidogo utabai wangu gani? Hizi ma dela. Ma mangu kubwa kubwa tu hizi zenye zinakufunika tu yani nguo zenye unavaa za heshima tu mrefu mrefu. Mhm. Zio za kuvaa tu za heshima kama uko kwa nyumba ya warabuni huko. So akanibaia akanibaia lotions yani like vitu zenye nilitaji kama msichana tu alikuwa ananiambia tu just choose. So from there nikaona tu ai rangu tikaanambia maybe he's a good person. Unajua dosi jakana eh so tukaenda tukaenda kwake but now the welcoming ya bibi yake haikukuwa mzuri unajua haikuwa mzuri but now nikasema tu i just hope si, yani hayuko vile yako hivi and because she was pregnant nika assume ni bol mm. sasa nika nikasema tu ni mwelewe and before that actually mimi nilikuwa naomba tu Mungu ata tukitoka kwa office i was like god you know what has brought me here in saudi mimi hata singekuja But the situation back home is the one which has forced me to come here. So my prayer is you just go before me. Unajua? Mm-hmm. Just just go before me. Make things good for me. Sasa venye niliingia kwa hiyo nyumba nikasema sasa nimekuwa naomba Mungu. Now what are this? Oh mama anakaa aje na msalimia nijibu hata venye nilipeleka hivi mkono hakunisalimia. But now the husband is good on the other hand juvenile linyona linsalimia vizuri akaniambia welcome to saudi arabia wewe bwana so tukaendelea kukata mwenye alinyonyesha kwenye nalala kwenye na, naoga kwenye na weka manguo penye nafanya usafi ni mzee, ni mzee. Hmm. so i was like ama ina happening if siezi jua let me not judge maybe this kila mtu kwa yake akona rules zake hmm. ama jua kona ball bwana anataki kumstrainisha so mi mimi nika understand hivyo but when siku zikiendelea ndio mama anaendelea kunichukia na kuwa mbaya so I was asking myself nimemkosea wapi Ju, alinichukia to the moment alinio aliniona ai hata kama ni bola pana mm. ataki kuniona yani yani ni mbaya tu yani amekuwa tu mbaya sasa mimi kwa akili yangu nikaanza kum kumchukia nikaona huyu hapana but now venye siku zilikuwa zinaendelea kuenda nikaona like She's a good person kwa roho yake ni mtu mzuri unajua kuna ule tu mtu mbaya tu kiinje tu but ukimchunguza vizuri unasema this person is a good person so nika tukaendelea kuishi tukaendelea kuishi after kitu kama two months hivi so i had the woman crying eh nikashindwa nalia nini alafu jua alikuwa na ball mimi nikakuwa concerned nikasema naweza assume and actually this woman pregnant ana za So nikaenda kufika huko nikapata is the man who is beating her. Eh bwana yake anampiga. Eh anampiga na kuna ball. Okay. Sasa nikashindwa. She's pregnant. You are beating her. You are the husband. Ai, mi haikuada hapo. You may expected that wa watu wakuwe na more respect mm-hmm. kwa mabibi zao venye tunasikia anga sifa zao. Mm-hmm. Na nikuulize kwanza hizi miezi mbili wamekulipa. 
Yeah, li, ju, by the way nili, nilifika hivi nikamwambia I told the boss everything. Tukiwa kwa barabara tukikuja nyumbani nikamwambia about my mom everything. Na akaniambia so what do you want me to do? Nikamwambia I've not started working but unaweza nitumia salary nyumbani. Hakukuwa na shida nilimbia tu nipe details. Okay. Na hivyo ndo alituma salary, hivyo ndo alituma salary home. Hakuwa ikosa kunilipa. He used to pay me. Okay. So nika nikaenda sasa akiwa na anapiga wife yake. So nikakuwa like ai huyu ako na bol najua utakuwa tu concerned anapigwa aje na bol anapigwa aje na bol ai sasa mimi nikauliza ule boss jumi niliona ni kama sasa tumeingia mm-hmm. jo alikuwa ananiita tu sister huyo boss wangu mwanaume mm-hmm. alikuwa amenipenda sana alinitanga tu sister na that is because nilipendana na watoto wake mm-hmm. watoto walinipenda tu alikuwa anakuja kulala kwa room yangu sometimes wanachana na yeye anakuja kulala kwa room yangu i'll show you some pictures of me with the kids so nika nikauliza boss you know aliniangalia hivi sura yenye sijawahi muona na kaniambia next time when you see this usijaribu kuniuliza usiwahi ingilia fare yote kwa hii nyumba mm. i brought you here just to work do your work any other thing don't eh sasa hapo ndo nika kwani what is happening but sasa mimi as a woman ndio huyu mama alikuwa anipendi mm. but nilikuwa tu na ile tu unajua ile uchungu mm. is she okay let me go and check up on her So after boss amenda me I go there but still the woman hanitaki at that time bado hataki kuongeleshana na mimi mm. after one week again the boss comes again tena nampi tena nampiga ai sasa mimi si aliniambia nisingilie so me I went to my room na nika nikaka but now sina amani still because I'm like na boli ikitoka na kimpigia muue mm-hmm. Sasa kidogo kidogo sasa afta kitu kama one hour nikasikia mtu analilia kwa mlango ya room yangu and I was like who is this crying? Ju nilijua mama hizi kuja kwa room yangu ju ananichukia. Mm. So nikakuwa like who is crying? So kukuja kufungua mlango ni yule mama and she's really bleeding. Ah, sasa nikajiuliza kwa nini ana bleed? Sasa nimemuogopa ju already alinionyesha attitude. Mm. Alafu pia mzee ameniambia don't ever interfere. Unajua mwarabu akikupatia instruction amekupea. Mm. Follow it. Mm. Sasa nikasema should I maybe touch ama nifanye. Sasa nitamsaidia aje. Maybe pengine nitamshika ikuwe ni mbaya ama nimuuliza ni wakujua nigeuzie because it's just me and mm. her. Waseme nimemfanyia hivyo. Mm. So nikaingiza uoga. But uh, dakika kidogo hivi niko na raise mkono. Sasa nikajua tu now she needs my help. So I came and nikamshikilia hivi akamka kaka kwa kiti fulani to in my room sasa nikaanza mimi sasa nikakuwa tu nikamwambia are you okay hivyo tu but ukimwangalia hayuko sawa so i called my boss nikasema tu hata kama alinikataza me to me this one inaka emergency mm. because ana ana bleed na kuna ball mm. ai hapana so i called my boss venye nilipigia boss akanunza the same question what did i tell you eh <laughs> Nilikwambia usiwe involved na issue yote apart from work. Wewe. Nikakata simu but nikasema tu yani nilitaka tu nimwambie bora tu isikuje kakuwa mm. najua. Mm. So I called the mom nikamwambia mwanamke nipatie your mother's number ni nimtext ama nimpigia ma give me your phone I text her. Alafu najua alikuwa hajui kizungu ule. Mm. So na mimi sijui Kiarabu. Sasa pia mimi nangangana but unajua ananipata kenye nasema na ongea broken. Mm. Lakini anaelewa akanipea simu akanionyesha umi amesave mama yake mama so nikam text jo alikuwa mtu wa whatsapp unajua warabu utapata mama mzee lakini ya whatsapp anajua hizo vitu venye nilim text she never replied sasa nikajiuliza kunaendaje can you imagine a mother unaambiwa mtoto wako mwenye ako na mimba is bleeding na ujibu anasoma message eh hey, message inaonyesha kabisa imetika ime amesoma ai Ha-ha. Sasa unajua nataka niulize nataka niambie huyu mama wako ajibu lakini sijuu kumwambia kwa Kiarabu. Mm. Sasa mimi namwambia tu nimetuma. Sasa the woman is just crying. Na mimi sasa nimeshaanza ku develop ile urumo. Unajua kuna tu ile urumo kwa tu nayo. Mm. Tunaanza kumpenda tu hivyo mm. tu. Mm. Sasa I was nikachukua kitamba juu naona ni kama sipati help yenye nataka. Mm. Unajua. So nikawa na m. Mm. Yaani hiyo tu damu ile tu na feel tu like acha tu nimpanguza kwa hata clean hata kama atasaidika but at least a quick clean so nikaona inazidi ai temperature kaanza kurise hata kulala kaanza kukaa sasa ni kama nataka kufaint nini 
Sasa mimi nikaanza kuwa na tension. Kashindwa what is happening? What if she dies here? Ndajitoa aje. Na akorumu yako. Eh, ndajitoa aje. Unajua ni evidence tu. Mm. Ai, alafu nilikuwa na napendaga complain na niongele shilingi. Sasa wanaweza sema pengine nili niliamua tu nimuue. Lakini kitu ikanikuja tu juu kulikuwa na na driver muindi hapo. Nikaambia driver nikaongea nika nini kaambia this and this is happening. Tufanye aje. Mimi akaniambia I cannot involve my story myself in that story juna jua wa watu. Mm. So wachana tu nae. Lakini yako kwa rumi yangu. What do I do? Sasa nikajuliza ma nitoroke. But nikitoroka wanaweza hata nifuata. Waniulize ulitoroka kwa nini? Juice. Sayo sina hata mtu atanitorokesha na umekatumizi bill. Sasa hii ni ya tatu. Eh. Hey. Hmm. Sasa alikuwa amenilipa salari ya tatu. Hmm. But the good thing is hiyo salari ya kwanza venye alinitumia nyumbani nikaanza kumwambia hii ingine just give me to keep because unajua being that mamangu umri yake imeenda sana na penye anaishi ni kwa landi and then ile aibu people mocking ha unajua. Hmm. Sasa nikasema wacha nisanye ni sanye ikifika kitu kama 6000 ya Saudi I'll send my mom but sasa ai nikaona sinitumie hii pesa yangu nisaidie huu mama ili nikujia tu because you know me 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 usema siezi lipisha mabaya na mabaya yes she hates me but now she needs my help and I always pray to god i tell god bless me i want to be a blessing to somebody if you bless me i'll bless somebody i'll be a blessing to people because i've seen life mimi mbona life mpaka yenye madhali nitolea bra yake kuniongezea kwa school shopping Nona, because she had no money. Na wanataka bra tatu shule. So I'm like I know life. Mi mi nikasema tu mi I'm just going to give this woman my salary mwenye ajue vile atafanya. So nikamwambia twende OC. Ukimwambia OC anatingisha kichwa. It's it's like alikuwa anaumia. So nikaongea na Dere nikamwambia Situpeleke mama OC. Akaniambia kama unataka ni kwa involved because it, this one can cost my job. Kama ni bosi wangu amesema ni sawa but because it's you na ni kitu ya kisiri you have to pay me. Hey, how much? Akataka 1000. 1000 si ya Kenya, 1000 ya Saudi which is 28000 Kenyan money. 28 K za Kenya. Yeah. Wow. Uza Saudi ni 1000. Kwanza alitaka tu. Kambia siezi because I only have that two. Ninafaa tu ndo hospital nikamwambia siezi pata. Nikamwambia but nikipewa salary this month I will give you ju hospital za Saudi ni expensive unless uko na card mm. but now kumbuka bwana ndo wako na card mm. na hashiki simu and then mimi hata sijui kama mama ko registered yani i know nothing sijui na mama mwenye haongei na kuongelea hey. shangi driver akakubali najua mm. akaenda osi kwenda osi kumbe alikuwa anaenda kuzaa yani imemwaffect mpaka alafu ni still but alafu unajua akafanya operation mm nika mimi nikarudi hospitali nika mimi contact bwana baadaye so nika mimi nikarudi kwa nyumba bwana akakuja akaniambia ule ameza so sikutaka story mingi na yeye nimwambia aliendaje usi ama nini ama nini mm. juu alinikataza Alinikataza. but Mungu naye akafanya ule naye akajifungua mm. akakuja after some days mwanamke akakuja so venye alikuja <laughs> do you know the beating is still there Okay, wewe atakuongelesha kwanza. Eh, sasa akakuwa mzuri now she's my sister, she's now my best friend. Mm. If she can cry, lazima angekuja anishikilie hivi aliye kama amenishika. Mm. Sasa siku moja tu mimi nikamuuliza, mimi mbona ulikuwa unanichukia hivyo? Because to me, unajua kuna tule mtu mwenye anaweza kuwa tu na attitude because kuna kitu fulani imewahi happen. Mm. So akaniambia, uh, house girls walikuwa wamezoea kukuja hapo, akiona bwanangu ananipiga wanacheka wanafurahi unajua hata wengine wana take advantage they sleep with my husband so i thought we're just the same because wamekuja nimekuwa na wafanyikazi wengi mm. si kutaka kumjudge na si kutaka ku prove mimi ni mzuri so nikanyamaza tu nikasema tu it's okay but now we became best friends mm. i was the only person she could talk to so one day i asked her nikamuliza your mom did not come to see you kwa usi right now umeza she's not still coming what's happening mm. Na wewe ukipigwa na Bwana si uko na kwenye why don't you go mm. because I, we know Arab serve man alafu Mwarabu hezi kubalia timu mtoto wake akae kwa ndoa akipigwa Ai Na kuna mtu wa kunywa hata anakuja kukuona what is happening Now she opened up Akaniambia my mother mama yake was a house girl in that 
in that family and then she was raped by the boss who is now my my madam's huyo boss wake sasa mama yake unaona acha okay. nisemee hivi able to make to understand huyu huyu boss madam wangu mama yake mzazi mwenye alimza alirepiwa na boss wake who happens to be now this woman's father Husband. father yeah umeelewa okay Mama yake alirepiwa na boss wake. Sasa huyu boss wake ndo bwana ndo baba ya huyu dem. Mm. Because he endali rep mama yake. So oh, he's the father. Okay, yeah. Aha, uh-huh. and then where is your mother? Sawa basi ulizaliwa hivyo is your mother? Kaniambia mama yangu mimi najua anga aliwaa but they always tell me alikufa. But what I know because I was nine years mimi najua what happened. She was killed because huyu sasa mama ya wai waititu. Waititu ni boss. Mm. Na waitanga waititu ni boss and then mm. Madam ni waiguru. So ni akaniambia huyu mama aliona ni kama competition. The more mama wangu anakuwa hapo ni kama sasa ni wa, wanawake wangapi? Jupia si yako na mtoto hapo. Yeah. And then they didn't sit like amerepiwa. Mm. Ni kitu aliona alijitakia. So ni kama wali get rid of her. Because you know an Arab is just an Arab. Hata akikuona tu kianza kuwa close vina bwana wake, aanze tu kukushuku tu. She can do anything but which is normal hata mwanamke yoyote lakini sasa kwenda to an extent of kuua na hiyo si huyo utakuwa umeenda sana mm-hmm. fadhali atakufukuzi so that's why akaniambia sasa alijipata hivyo yeye amezaliwa tu hapo and then akapewa bwana sasa huyu bwana yake is the son of that family yeah. because the arabs can marry who is in his sister yake mm-hmm. but now kama hakunyonya matiti ya mama yake just marry like you can mm-hmm. just marry like a eh, sister yako mwenye mjanyonya matiti moja so ndo akampea huyo Jua alikuwa sasa sijui ndo niseme msumbufu kwa familia toxic mm. huyo kijana alikuwa mbaya mbaya na wakaona tu hakuna mwarabu atakubali msichana wake aolewe na such a man so nikamwa kampea na huyo sasa asire kaishanga kwa huyo akimpiga 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 now the brothers hate her kila mtu anachukia tu hiyo dem so she only found me to be a good person to an extent that i could even go to bed tulale na kama bwanake ayuko nimsaidie mtoto akitaka kunyonya ni nini ni so we became so so close So kuna siku wakakuja kama sherehe hivi sister bwana ni nini wakakuja So venye walikuja alafu sister bwana akaanza kuchapa mtoto wa ubosi wangu msichana mdogo So huyu mama akamuuliza mbona unamchapa na wewe demo akekelea huyo waiguru kofi mm. So venye alimwekelea kofi huyo akamza mbona unanichapa akamwekelea tena So me am watching but now nikikumbuka nilikatazwa And now she's my best friend remember na nafanywe hivyo definitely huwezi kubali rafiki yako afanywe hivyo. Na mimi niko na mtoto mdogo ana slap slap aje ude ndio wanamdharau ampendi. So nikasema no hata mimi nenda kumslap. So I slapped the girl. Mwenye ali slap huyo waiguru nikamslap. Venye tu nilimslap akaweka nduru. Unaona wale watu wenye walikuwa wamekuja wakaitana, wakaitana, warabu wanaitananga tu hivyo tu, hivyo tu wakakujua kwa karibu na wanawake futi kwa nyumba wakaanza sasa kuni attack hizi malama zenye unaona hizi 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 sasa hivi wanakupiga design gani sasa kama vile mtu alikuwa kwa sinks alikuwa na kisu mm. sasa unajua yeye ashtukia alikuwa na ana yeye anakata tu you can see even them, they are so clear unaona anachukua kisu wanakatakata alikuwa anakata tu hivi tu msichana anakatakata tu hivi anakatakata tu alafu sasa unajua wengine wamenishika sasa niko defenseless there is nothing i can do even my hair hapa sina nywele walishika hivi matuta moja nilikuwa nimeshuka nime wakakata wakakata ingine so unaona huku hivi niko na nywele mrefu but ukiangalia huku hapa katikati hapa hakuna but huku iko hata naweza kuonyesha hapa iko umeona mm. hapa iko nywele lakini Kutu hapa huku hakuna hapa hakuna nywele mm. ilikatwa but nilikuwa defenseless nilikuwa siwezi fanya anything but now design yenyewe alikuwa ananifanya they almost killing me na huyu mama haongei sasa What will she say? Atafanya nini? Na ataongea nini na na yeye ni kama tu shagala kama mimi. Yaani wanamchukulia hivyo. Hakuna kinyata atafanya unajua. Mm. So nika nikaona hapa, ai mimi naumia. The moment nilipata tu time ya mkono wangu ku, kutoka. Na mimi uko na simu yangu hapa. Mm. Kuna nguo nilikuwa na vapron hapa. That's when I called my boss. Mm. Mbe these people have come to kill me. So roho yangu iliniambia just reach out hata kama umeslap mtoto umeslap sister yake just reach out juu at least anakuchukua anga pia kama sister yake na nilikuwa so confident atanisaidia mm. akaniambia wako hapo hata sasa simu si kuendelea kuongea nayo 
Sasa hiyo mkono ina bleed. It was bleeding. Ilikuwa ina bleed. Ilikuwa ina bleed hivi. In fact venye sasa boss wangu alikuwa anakuja kitu ya mwisho. Hmm. Niko na alama nyingine hapo nyenye sasa mtoto alikata plus kwa nguo hivi. Katokea hapa kwa mapaja. Wow. But when my boss came, unajua sasa wanawake waezi kutana na wanaume. Hmm. Sasa wakaanza kusambaratika wanatoroka toroka kaniacha hapo na mama yake. So mama yake akamuelezea nimekosa nimepiga dada yake but he did not say nimempiga kwa nini. Baadaye ndo akamwambia nimempiga kwa nini. Sasa venye boss alisikia nimempiga because the wife was beaten mm. akaniambia I, I warned you. Anything that happens here usiingilie. Ai, mbako wanachapa bibi yako. But naye akanielewa akamwambia let her be next time usiwahi mchapa. Before you beat her muniite. Unaona? Tell me before you come and beat. Walikuwa wana wake karibu 50. Jua naita nanga watu wenyewe kwa golf they can tell you. Kitu ndogo hivyo naita nanga watu wengi na wanaweza kuwa tuna dakika moja tu. Hmm. Hmm. Okay to them uh, blood si si issue si kitu kwa. Mm-mm. Si issue. Kuna wale maybe wenye wameshika dini they really fear. Unaona wake na kama eh hapana. Damu hii ni haram lakini they are those who are just fearless. They don't care. But there are those who are good. Unajua. So ikaisha hivyo wakaenda and then now si wameenda. Mm-hmm. Now huyo mwanaume now started beating the the wife. Sasa dada kwa amemchapa alafu unakujua na mchapa sasa anamchapa kwa nini ulichapa dada yangu so mimi nika but now nimeshikanisha why they hate her it mm. didn't bother me mm. nikajua tu ah, it's because of this and this so haikuni bother actually juu nilimwele the only thing i used to do to that woman was, i just used to give her a shoulder to lean on that is the only thing i could do and that's why she loved me aliambia was just different from others unajua siku hizi unezaona hata mtu umeandika house girl Unajua people trust house girl so much. Hakuna mtu anajua siri yako kama house girl. Hata ukose chumfi, house girl anajua. Mm. But now how ana take advantage? Utapata house girl sasa anatoa hizo story nje. Au unamuona tu hivi ananga hata chumfi kwa nyumba, anapigwa ngwa tu na bwana. Mm. But for you you expect me as your house girl ni kufichie hiyo siri. No matter how bad you are, ni kufichie hiyo siri. Si kukwenda kukuanika. Even if you hate me, but si hizi celebrate ukipigwa hivyo. Mm. So one day wakakuja hapo ndugu yake akakuja ku stay kwa hiyo hao ndugu ya bosi yangu akakuja ku stay kwa hiyo hao na the moment nilimwona tu damu yangu na yake ikapitana si kumpenda so mm-hmm. we used to cross kila wakati tunakosana sasa akakuja ka stay hapo for just a little time but i think ni kitu walikuwa na deal nayo kuna deal fulani ilikuwa inaendelea because before that kulikuwa na to meeting to meeting so One day tulikuwa tunaosha mangua na umama because we used to do jobs together the house girl lakini sasa tumekuwa ma best mpaka tunafanya kazi kwa we are now sisters mm. hata simu yangu ikilia nikiwa kwa chosh brings me the phone anambia receive kwanza ndo uendelee na job don't do this i will do wewe osha vyombo za lunch sasa nitaosha tukapendana hivyo yes i used to use my salary kumfanyia vitu zingine because the husband could not nilikuwa nafanya na haikuwa hii ni umama hata siku moja it never bothered me at ni sema tio oh, Unajua nilikuja na papa I want to buy my mom a piece of land nataka kufanya nini I just say I will use it to help her Mimi sina shida So venye alikuja tukaanza kuishi na huyo ndugu yake brother in law sasa ameka mm. So we stayed One day madam yangu akaniambia One day I will leave for you this kid nikamwambia kwa nini akaniambia these people might even kill me the way they did what wali wa mama yangu Mi I thought it is a joke actually kumbe she had seen her death kami na mimi sikuwa najua mimi nilijua ni story because we could anything story yetu tungeongea tu Ay sasa hiyo same same day ananiambia hiyo akaniambia take the kid i'm very sick kicho inaniuma let me go and sleep akaenda akalala na that day hiyo siku boss wangu akutoka ndugu yake akutoka they just roaming there so venye alienda kulala Nikaona amelala nika na, na mtoto alikuwa ni kama analia konja and me i used to go just remove the nyonyoni yake hapo mtoto jo amefanya operation siki kumsumbua sumbua so i was used to that sasa nikasema acha nipeleke huyo mtoto akanyonye kwa mama yake so when i was going nikaona eh waiti tu wangu huyo anateremka stia sana eh anatoka anaenda na sasa nenda hivi kwa room nikakuwa na eye contacts na huyu brother boss sasa nikajuliza What was he doing in the room? Hata wafai kuonana macho kwa macho na udem. Na shemeji yake ni haram. Sasa ameenda kufanya nini huko? But akili yangu haikugonga that this woman has been murdered. 
Si mimi nika tukapitana tu hivi. Mimi mm. nikapeleka mtoto as usual. Bijua melala si kutaka kumsumbua just remove the nyonyo na nika. But now the baby was crying so much. Ai, niko natampigia kelele amuamushe. So I went back to my room. On going back to my room, now the guy starts calling me ndugia boss. Anambia mtoto analia sana amrudishe ampeleke mamake afanye nini? Amnyonyeshe. Nikaambia nimekuwa huko but mtoto analia. Kaambia no just take her back. Mrudisha amnyonyeshe. And now my boss texts me akaniambia don't go to that room. So nikakuwa na huyo anakuambia uende. Huyo anakuambia usiende. This one is calling at the same time my boss is texting. Hmm. But mimi nikafuata ya boss nikasema siendi. Na huyo baada ananiambia. So kidogo kidogo nikona gari 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 watu wanashuka kwa gari mabuibui makanzu. Then I was like what is happening? Unajua mimi sijui nime So nikaona magari zimekuja magari zimekuja. Kumbe wakati yenye huyu ndugu yao boss wangu ananiambia nipeleke mtoto anyonye. It was a deal. Nipatikane huko ndani. Sinaona sasa akiniambia na magari zinakaa. Mm. Nipate huko ndani ikuwe evident. Nimemuua. Surprisingly venye alikuja sasa si ndugu ya boss anajua niko kwa room mm. but my boss knows I'm safe niko kwa room yangu mm. so magari vile zilikuja mama akatoka watu wasichana watu nani wakakuja yani i think ni relatives tu wenye walikuja kujanga tu hapo family members mm. those ones who used to hate her mm. so wakakuja wakaingia kwa room so mimi nikakuwa curious what is happening kama tu mtu analala watu anaingia nini kwa room yake nikauliza boss wangu what is happening akaniambia hiyo madam is dead ai iko niingia mm. dead how na nimekuwa na yeye kwani what happened sasa ndo akili yangu ikaanza nikaanza ku join dots unachua mm. huyu mwanaume alitoka kwa room kufanya nini na ukiangalia kanzu yake ilikuwa na blood stains vivi blood stains vivi na ukiangalia venyo mama kweli damu imetoka kwa mdomo na kwa mapua au ungehitaji kuambiwa kitu kingine huyu ndiye alimfanyia hivyo. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wewe umeenda umepeleka mtoto. Mm-hmm. Haukuona hizo damu. Alikuwa maangalisho hivi na amefunikwa. Unajua amefunikwa. Sasa unajua ni kama amelala. Unaona mtu analala hivi lakini mm-hmm. amefunikwa hivi na mimi I was not interested in even checking. Ha mimi nilikuwa mm-hmm. interested na matiti. Nilikuwa nime concentrate mm-hmm. kwa matiti because mm-hmm. I used to go kama amelala na toa nekelea mtoto ananyonya na namwachia hapo. Okay. Sasa siku kwa na ile akili atiniangalie uso so why should I na nimeenda kupeleka okay. mtoto? Mm. Sasa ndo bosi wangu akaniambia she's dead but haikuniingia. Ni sasa baadaye ndo nikakuja kusema ah. Hii damu yenye niliona hii kwa kile ki kwa hiyo eh hey, kule brother in law yeah. could it be could it be that he killed her? Ama because hauko allowed kuingia kwa hiyo room kama bibi ndugu yako kwa huko. Mm. So what did you go there to do? Sasa ndo huyu brother in law sasa ni kama alishuku tu ama alijua he was a hundred percent sure i saw him do it so now he wanted to get rid of me mm. hi but now my boss unajua kitu cha kushangaza ni waiti tu pia alikuwa aware what has happened so ndo nikakuja nikaona ni kama deal because the woman used to tell me one day these people will kill, will kill me. me one day these people will kill me ndo nika join dots unaona but now sasa huyu akaanza kunitafuta huyu ndugu yake sasa ndugu ya boss but now boss ni best yangu na amekuwa mzuri and he wants to defend me sasa mm-hmm. alikuwa akika meeting venye wata pengine wanapanga venye wata get rid of me he tells me what is happening mm-hmm. hata wakileta food pengine wameka sumu ama nini anaambia don't eat that food jifanye umekula but don't eat it wale mtu rudisha nyuma mm-hmm. wale familia wamekuja na mwili imekufa kutaendaje they buried ah. without investigation without anything Sina kumbe something that it was discussed. Wanajua je kama amekufa ya ukweli? They buried. So unajua amekufa? Definitely they'll check. They know and then ni kitu yenye wali plan. Ndio nakwambia si eti ni kitu yenye ati huyu alifanya tu it's like a family walisema tu want to get rid of because baba alipenda huyu. Alafu nasikia hata kuna some part of uh, properties yenye baba li prefer huyu apewe kama mtoto wake halal. Mm. Now hiyo iwezi happen. Mwarabu tu hivi mwanamke hawezi kuona wanapatiana kwa mtoto. So mm. I think that is how they plan to get rid of her. Okay. Silently wakamzika. The same day walimzika. So watamchukua tu kwa nyumba wamweke kwa gari waende wamzike. Kwa gari ni. Ama tazikwa within compound. Alizikwa. Unajua yalikuwa risaf risaf. Mm. Alizikwa huko ndani walikuwa na mashamba. So alizikwa tu. The place is just the... I have the pictures I'll show you when so we zikwa. So hujapewa time ya kufikiria kwenda hata kuona mwili wewe hujapewa time. Sija digest lakini mwili nilienda nikaona. Okay. But sasa ndo nakwambia niliona damu kwa mapona kwa mdomo. Okay. 
ndo nikaona but now sija bado sijaamini amekufa unajua mm. but now they have buried her sasa ndugu ya bosa akaanza kunitafu sasa unajua anaenda anawaambia this girl saw me ni kama aliniona so akiniambia tu vadi boss sometimes alikuwa na record ati huyu mwanaume ya kosho ulimuona na unajua boss wangu mimi aliniuliza nikamwambia mimi i'm very sure she's the one who killed who killed her juu sana niliona tuko open na niliona hata ni seti do sasa nilianza ku regret baadaye sasa nilikuwa naona boss wangu ananisoma mama nini why is she sending me all these informations na ni actually kenya ananiambia it happens Kenya nimbie it happens. Jua nimbie don't eat kuna chakula nilimwambia kaniletoa kaniambia don't try and eat the food. Na document zangu sasa hiyo ndugu yake amechukua mpeleka polisi na sasa boss wangu ilibidi akuje anichukue anipeleke polisi because walijifanya sasa ati wanataka kujifanya waniekeleke kesi. Na hata hiyo polisi yenyewe hakuna juu polisi mwenye wananipeleka it's their cousin. Sasa wamejifanya tu ati ndo nijue pia kesi ilienda api polisi mm, kumbe hakuna mm, kitu yoyote. Mm, mm. So nika boss wangu akaniambia so kuna wakati nilikuwa nakwambia leta food and the food was actually poisoned so boss wangu akaniambia don't eat that food and if you want to trust me so from there don't kanza ku trust boss wangu mm. give the cat the food paka ikumanza na dakika jani ilienda tu hivi ilienda tu hivi nikaendeka kufia huko okay. so from there nikam trust 100% mm. so another time kuna time aliniambia i want you to scream nataka saa fulani ikifika just scream akaniambia ni scream kwa nini akaniambia scream because leo there is something my mother and some people are coming to do to you ai ni scream sasa nika scream ikafika saa tano au masenya aliniambia tu exactly na nika scream na time yeye anaanza ku scream gari ya mama yake inaingia nika scream nika scream nikajifanya na faint nikajifanya na kufa i even have the pictures nikiwa hosi nikajifanya na kufa wakaleta ambulance ambulance ikanipeleka hosi and that's how my shangu boss wangu ali save hivyo juu nilipeleka hosi so it did not happen as they planned because i'm not there okay no. nikukata kidogo bado mm. bibi amezikwa mm. umeachwa mtoto mdogo maisha itakuwaaje kwa hiyo nyumba so life was so different because one thing sasa si ni mindo niko mm. the kid was almost is it three months hapo mm. ni mdogo unajua sasa huyu boss inafaa kae sana ndo uh, akae alafu mtafutie bibi tena bibi mwingine but during that time i have to take care of the kid mm-hmm. and now my life is also not safe in the house now the mother stays here with us the mother doesn't love me also because nilikuwa napenda waiguru mm-hmm. sasa hayuko sasa siko safe niko tu na wasiwasi sasa mama kukuja alikuja so that she can help me take care of the kama bado huyu anamtafutia bibi but sasa hakupenda hao watoto huyu mama na the father watatu kulikuwa na mtoto mwingine alikuwa na shida fulani alikuwa na shida fulani alikuwa anga nakaa kama chizi chizi hivyo hivyo alafu kulikuwa na mwingine msichana alafu kulikuwa na third born sasa kijana but mama hakupenda huyu kijana huyu wa kwanza na wa mwisho they love the girl so much wote hata bwana pia hakupenda mtoto mchanga i remember there is a time alimsukuma hivi na mguu kaka piringika hivi kwa stairs akoka totoka changa sasa mimi hapo because oh, kutoka dogo eh wa 3 months alimsukuma hivi akapiringika hivi kaka kaka piringika hivi kakaenda chini mm-hmm. na kakalala kakalia kakalala hapo because i was busy machine na nipigia kelele sasa nika imagine alitoka aje kwa room yangu because now i used to sleep with the kids because mama yao hayuko and the way i used to love them na walikuwa wamenizoea sasa pia kiliao haikugonga mama yao hayuko mm-hmm. though mdogo ndo alikuwa anga analialia sana So now boss wangu akakuja akanyambia the way things are going hata watu wanaweza realize kuna mtu anakupa inform information I have to take you out of this house na kupeleka kwa nyumba nyingine ndio nikakuwa na fear kidogo nikakuwa like ah, kwa nini ama alikuwa ananibembeleza ndo ani anishike but now nikakuwa tu na ile spirit mimi nikamwambia to god me did not come here to die mm. na mi, i'm going to trust this man akanibeba akanipeleka ko aka ah, kwanza aliniambia nataka upigie ofisi simu sema anakutesa hapa hautaki alafu ofisi itakwambia rudi kwa ofisi ubadilishwe nyumba so mimi nikafanya hivyo kurudi kwa ofisi kumbe na yamuongea na best yake sasa my current boss akamwambia msichana fulani anakuja i want you to work i want you to go and pick at the office enda useme unataka kufanyia kazi go like unaenda kutafuta msichana wa kazi na umpate huko so he handed me over to the to the friend but sasa ofisi haikujua wameongea mimi sikujua aliniambia anga baadaye who is a very very who was a very good boss to me who you current peer a very good man a very understanding person actually mimi na mu appreciate sana jua alikuwa mtu mzuri 
so understanding hata nikiwa na shida nyumbani namwambia unajua so nikakaa na yeye sasa baadaye ndo siku kwa nimemaliza contract nikikuja actually i was to finish kama november ma december but now we boss wangu mwingine huyu mwenye alinileta huko aliniambia you have to go home things are not good si kutaka mambo mingi ni things are not good upande yao ni kama sasa kuna venye lazima tu wanipate mm. na nikamwambia now how so because jina yangu bado iko inasoma yeye unajua kuna konga na procedure kutoka mm. kwa nyumba aende kwa nyumba nyingine lazima registration ni nini rudi kwa jina yako ndio kwa boss mm. so i asked myself ah how kama mtu tufanya je akaniambia we have a deal and i will show you the messages akaniambia i want you to scream useme umefiwa eh and tell your boss you want to go home si ku hesitate actually nilimwambia i do it right now like me alikuwa anambia fanya mimi nafanya tu so i screamed nika scream at majirani wa kujua toka kuja nikaanza kujigaragaraza chini kwanza what is wrong kaambia somebody has died somebody at home has died and i have to go kwanza who has died i lied actually nikamwambia my elder son has died of which sina mm. kaambia kijana wangu mkubwa amekufa nimepigiwa simu akaanza do you want to travel nikamwambia i have to travel kaniambia let me talk to your boss juye bado ndo ndo kafili wako jina zinasoma yeye mm. and then you will travel immediately akani tolea yeah. ticket unajua so after kunitolea ticket even though nili travel but before i travel dula kaniletea simu he gave me a phone mm. as a present so ndo nika nika travel but traveling okay i had some unajua unakonga na ile goals ya ku mm. naenda Saudi Arabia because of this and this so i thank god because first i succeeded to treat mamangu the only thing yenye nilikuwa na GPRO nasema now this is my next new story ya kumtoa kwa land at least uh, mm. apate mahali so that hata aonekane ni mtu because kuisha hapo hivyo amemdharau sana and me as her daughter unajua na feel like why mm. So hiyo siku siku achieve I never achieved it but because unajua sasa money pesa yangu ilifika mali nikaanza kushughulikia anga huyo mama pia mm. so ikaanza kuni nikaona I will not make it sitafanya venye nilitaka though I don't regret I don't regret that I used my money to help her mm. I have never regretted because I was just helping someone who was in need the same way I can be in need and I get a person to help me So I don't regret that but hopefully nina ninajua I'll get something I do and then I'll achieve that one. Okay, so kutoka utoke Saudi mpaka sasa hivi siko ngapi? Hata sijafika nyumbani. In fact nobody at home knows nimekuja. Nilikuja jana. Um niko kwa sister yangu. Nina plan ku travel sasa kwenda nyumbani sasa because okay. nobody knows but i know they have so many expectations unajua majirani nani because they used to tell my mom mtoto wako si ameenda tunajua anakuja kutoka kwa landi of which okay fine but like kwa plot unajua kuna mtu haelewi landi ni nini ni kwa plot 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 ya merent plot ngomo mm. kanishi kwa landi so i know she has a lot of expectation unajua okay. but uh, Sisi sema nimemdisappoint. Sisi sema nimemdisappoint because I believe if I'm still alive I'll still make it. Then I'll still make it. Mm. Though right now I feel like but ulikuwa na work where is your money? You know people ask where is your money? Unajua? She also has expectation because I told her me I will buy you a piece of land. Takumulia. So she used to ananipatia ma namba za watu wanazunguka kwa village kwenda kutafuta shamba ongea na huyu nimepata shamba so I talked I've talked to so many land sellers huko Bungoma but no man nampatia tu hopes. Okay. Yeah. So kuna watu wengi by the way kuna watu wengi chat na mtu ananiambia nimekaa Saudi two years but I just save anything. Is it the same in your life? Okay, depends like for me nimekwambia you try to save maybe you are saving something comes comes up but inalingana what type of something that has come up mm. kuna ile inaweza come up ni emergency like for my mom was an emergency macho mm. na hiyo macho tu kumalizia kwa 5k at first it was 5k mm. but the, at least walimsaidia but the problem ikaendelea tena tena ikaanza tena mm. so every time unajua pesa wasi pesa wasi and then kwa huma damu wangu of which something that i had money na lazima nimsaidie mm. unajua watu Kenya most people assume Mm. ukitoka huku uko na pesa yeah. but ukikuwa Saudi Arabia actually uko na vitu mingi sana za kufanya pengine unalipa una school fees unafanya nini and then pia linalingana na pesa yako vinyo unatumia there are some who just decide to send their boyfriends their money 
then my boyfriend wao na kula do so that is inalingana mimi husema saving inalingana you can have little money na ujaribu kufinya and you save whatever that you have okay but sasa ni venye tu majukumu ni zatoke and you cannot avoid it okay and how is your mom now my mom is there as i've told you amepona not like hata kama juzi before nikuje because i've not told her i'm coming mm. so before nikuje aliamka kanipigia simu akaniambia nimeamka macho zangu zinatoa usaa because unajua hospitali waliniambia i need money atibiwe vizuri unajua ili kwa inamshikilia tu so i needed good money apele kwa hospitali mzuri unajua hii walimfanyia tu juu siku kwa na that enough money hata wangetaka hiyo mm-hmm. 150000 ama pesa ngapi at that time siku kwa nayo mm-hmm. na singeitisha boss wangu as much as yeah, yote. eh singemuitisha yote mm-hmm. But she is okay. Unajua sasa anafanya venye nimekwambia job yake ni kwa jua na walimwambia asikae kwa jua. Mm. But she has to go there also. Okay, oh, sana. Yeah. And uh, your mom dia anashughulikia mtoto wako. No, mtoto wangu anashughulikiwa na nyanya yake and I was helping her. So your grandmother ndio pia anashughulikia mtoto wako. The grandmother to my kid because my mom now could not see. Okay. Sasa unajua siezi muachia mtu hii. Mm. Sasa akaenda kwao but i used to shughulikia hai akiwa kwao mtoto wangu mm. she was only 8 months nikimwacha niki nikikuja Saudi Arabia yeah. okay when you mefika Kenya yule boss wa kwanza mwenye wife alikufa ame try kukuuliza kama umefika he told me one thing mm. aliambia the moment ni ni niende ni hapo should forget about him ni swaya tam text he only wanted to see me home Okay. So can be don't even mention me anywhere. Don't mention my name, don't mention me. me. I only wanted to help you. Because that one anaficha image yake. Family unajua anybody can watch you or can see you on TV ama nini. Alafu mm. aseme so this one was the one who was telling these girls this girl is vitu zote toroka jificha unajua mm. alikuwa ananiambia secretly. But aliniambia tu ukipanda ndege just forget about me. And that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. So as a single mom, unaweza taka mtu akusaidiaje? Mimi you know, mimi usema mm, Okay. No woman is single by choice, right? Yeah. And I cannot say that my baby daddy alikuwa mtu mbaya. Mm. Is this story to the Saudi ni nini? nini? Yeah. Unajua? Mm. Mtu akikwambia wao oh, kwa nini unaenda nini? But for me I chose my mom over him. Mm. I wanted to help my mom over him. Mm. Cuz my mom comes first to kiangalia struggles zenye mamangu amepitia you cannot even compare to a man hata kama anampenda mm. and my mom saw me as a breadwinner she had so much hope in me mm. me the only thing maybe i can want someone to help me ni maybe a job unajua mm. because i really want to see my mom kutoka kwa hiyo landi that's my prayer even if she dies one day i can go and visit her grave unajua mm. i see i buried my mom here mm. my mom is so old almost 60 something years sasa unajua mtu anakuuliza unabebanga tu unabeba tu mtoto anaenda kwa landi kuona mama yako hiyo mama amezeeka mtu kwa landi unajua sasa ile aibu mm. but what do you do na sina hiyo uwezo even one day i remember my aunt aunt yangu mwingine my cousin to my mama akaniambia i see your mom wearing a very good kitenge nikiwa Saudi Arabia nikamwambia i don't have any idea so akaniambia you can afford money kunulia mama yako kitenge but mtaki kumtoa kwa landi yani you have the pressure from villagers na ni mbaya ni ile mbaya mtu mpaka anakuambia ukifanya umalea utafanya tu utapata domob you can be a prostitute na unue shamba oh unajua so that that thing has really eaten yani hata kama niko Saudi Arabia hata kama nimerudi yes i'm back to Kenya but i'm not happy unajua because the hiyo land ilikuwa priority yangu okay. and you know you cannot tell somebody buy me a piece of land no unless it's just a well wisher akunulie but for me my prayer is because sina job ni hata shule yangu kwende ilikuwa 50 50 i was raised life yangu me have never had good side of life okay venye nilikuwa Saudi Arabia at least na sasa mtu akikwambia kuna job is uh, a place is gulf utakubali uh, also being that i've been far away from my daughter unajua kiwa 8 months and now she's a big girl and again me will believe if i have capital sai niweza tufanya job yangu Kenya though gulf sijasema ni mbaya but home is the best unajua mm. nyumbani ni mzuri but gulf with the experience that i've seen it's scary yeah siwezi okay yeah 
eh, uko na advice gani kwa mtu mwenye anapitia the same thing kwa sababu naona wasichana wanapitia mambo mengi sana huko mhm girl fama mm. okay what i can say is Gulf is not a bad place as people put it. Sitasema ati nataka kusema ni mbaya ama ni mzuri. I don't want to justify, but it's not a bad place. Only that you know what brought you there. Kenye likupeleka huko. Gulf nitaka perseverance. Ukuwe mwaminifu, ukuwe na heshima. There's difference between kuheshimu na kuogopa. Me I used to tell my boss I don't fear you but I respect you. Even if you see my chats with my boss and he used to understand that sasa kama una plan kwenda gulf ama uko gulf just know what kenye likupeleka huko that is the mm-hmm. most important thing mm-hmm. kuna tu tu pia pressure tu ndege ni ya bure nataka kwenda kujibamba unafika huko unapata ni kazi you become disappointed that's why you can even decide to run away yeah. unajua you decide to change the issue kwenye and i also wanted to tell people they should not be judging those girls when wanakimbia wanaenda ku camp boys we call them like that Not all of them are bad. There are some who can boy with genuine reasons. Genuine. Nikisema genuine na manisha, umeteseka, umepigwa, umenyimwa food, umevumilia. Mm. You cannot take it anymore. Unaenda kwa ofisi unarudishwa kwa nyumba. Mm. Unaenda police unarudishwa in the same house. Unaweza imagine umepigwa kwa hiyo nyumba tena unarudishwa in the same house. So those run they run away na wakienda nje they go to work. Wanaenda kufanya kazi. But there are those who run away because pressure kuja huko nje there are men there are, mm. kuna pombe kuna nene then you run away so wale ndo wanaribianga wale wengine nyo wametoroka mm. jina so me and then pia mtu wako kama ako golf mtu usifikirie that person ni bank that anytime unataka pesa it's there mm. these people are also human beings try to to check up on them try just to say hi they just need that ask them how they are doing Wacha kuomba mtu pesa ukishamwomba kama ana unamweka kwa status unamwona ni mbaya. You don't ask me how I'm doing but you expect me to have money. Unajua? Mm. So pia they should also understand that they are humans. Mm. They are human beings. They need to be checked up on. Si tu kila time text ni nisaidie niko peshe mm. kama sina I'm a bad person mm. unaringa. They also human beings. Just check up on them. Hata hata kama ujaomba pesa, don't just go there kuomba pesa. People are suffering. Wenye hawaonyeshi au wachache wanapatikana kwa media yao wenye unaona ni God amefanywa amesaidia. Hao ni wachache. Kuna wengi. There are so many girls that need help wenye kuja kwa light. They have nobody to talk for them. Kuna mwenye hata ana simu suffering. But you don't see them because they wana mtu waku. But the only thing ni venye tu nimesema Gulf pia Simba even kama government itatu itakuwa na sisi because even arabs no government yetu haitupendi we are orphans sisi tukiokuwa mm. sisi ni orphans wa hatuna gava so sisi ni orphans mm. nikisema orphans no manisha hatuna gava yani baba yetu na mama yetu ni gava so they died hatuna okay. hatuna but if only wanaweza kama venye philippines wana kama like a filipina kikufa they do a follow up how did she die did you try to take her to the hospital show us the medical report okay. but here in kenya tujaye una story kama hizo Mm. Atujawa yeye na timu tu anafanya follow up Philippines wanafanya kesi mpaka na Arabs just to know how this girl died or how the Arab pregnant her. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you know and the story utanipatia siku nyingine about the the government. Mm. So uko na namba ya simu unaweza acha in case someone want to reach you. Yeah, I have a phone number. Mm. Uh, it's both on WhatsApp and uh, call. Mm. 07 naweza kupea mm. 0721 660 8:30. Rose Mulama. Okay. Yeah. We, for the first time nimesikia story ya Saudi Arabia. Mimi usikia by the na kosa kuamini nasema nitaamini ama nitaamini hingine. But for you nime imene heart by the way na nimeona umepitia vitu mingi pole sana. So guys, thank you so much for your time. Kindly subscribe, like, share the video and leave a comment down there.